should know that already. I mean, you're a subscriber to Frequency 43. We've been over this come multiple on. times. It's our 14th episode. It's our 14th episode, man. But come, come on. on. By now, it's, it's basically like it should be ingrained in your It's like taking your vitamins, bro. Yeah. Getting after it and taking your vitamins or same thing. You know, a subscriber came up to me the other day and asked, what do you mean by get after it when, when I say that? He said, what do you mean? I said, <laughs> you should know what that means. And he's like, well, I still don't know what it means. I said, what do you think? What do you think it means? He's saying, I, th- I think it means you should do what you already know what you should be doing. And I said, yeah, you should have already done that. You should be going towards your sacrifice. So you shouldn't you look back. What you're doing right now is there's a sword, right? Think of this as an imaginary sword. Every single day, I fucking chisel that sword, bro, sharpening it. You get a samurai sword. I don't even want to do that. I just want to fucking cut something. <laughs> I want it to be so sharp that I can just cut anything with it. So I chisel that sword every single day. That sword's your only fucking defense against the fucking... It's the fucking... minute, the second, the millisecond you step through that fucking door... The second you get out of bed, that sword better be in your goddamn. Because if it's not, because if it's not, goddamn it, you're quitting on yourself. Quitting on yourself. And you're going to be a victim. So let's be honest right now. You don't know what you want in this world. That's okay. You got time. But just realize. You better pick something. You're going to regret it one day when you're old and cranky. And it's going to happen to all of us, too. Oh, it's going to happen to all of us. So pick your little, you can think, some people think it's not a single person that it hasn't happened to in the history of of every person. People are going to shit on your sacrifice, you know, but it's like, you got to be like, listen. What, what? What's what, what what at the end of the day? What's what's gonna make you happy? You know, like, come on, man. Like, I'm just gonna conform like these other guys. You know, you know, you can't do that if you want to be successful in this fucking world. Otherwise, you're just gonna be fucking someone's bitch. You're gonna be somebody's bitch. Be your own bitch. Be your own bitch. Treat yourself. Treat yourself right. Love yourself. Yeah. Look in the mirror. You want to talk to me about the accountability accountability mirror? Um. No, I think I think you should talk about the accountability. All right. So me and Lucas got this thing. It's called the accountability mirror. Every single day, you look at yourself dead in the mirror. You say, "What am I going to do?" Change what I see in that fucking mirror. Mm-hmm. You got post its, you say, do 100 push ups. I've been doing some wall squats recently. Five one minute wall squats every fucking day. I can't squat, got bad knees. Is that a fucking excuse not to do some goddamn wall squats, lunges? Five one minute planks. Everything does on the accountability mirror. Short-term goals, long-term goals. It doesn't stop there either. It doesn't stop at the accountability mirror. Because if it does, you miss the whole entire The accountability mirror is the assessment. It's the fucking goddamn assessment. The accountability mirror is just the fucking beginning of a, of a road to success. And that's where we are right here. We're just at the beginning, just like, just like you. Just like everyone. On a goddamn success. This podcast, spectacular. I love it already. I love it already. Different vibe. I love it. Beautiful. We're not talking. We're in person. Set in, in the person. Foundation. Haven't had it. This might be our first in person podcast, actually. It is. Oh, I didn't even know that. There we go. Frequency 43. <coughs> Took a little road trip to Eugene to get my mind right. Um, 
Gonna get a lot done here. Frequency 43 merch on the way. Oh, yeah. Talk to him about the merch. Merch on the way. Um, designing some sick logos. It's gonna be here soon. Uh, we want the subscribers to be all warm and cozy when they're listening oh, to hey, this uh, podcast. Winter, so. is coming. winter is slowly fading, but we still want you warm and cozy. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's I mean, well, there's, it's a pretty big it's, here. Sunsets every single day. You get chilly. Man. It'll the winter will come back, listeners. <laughs> It'll come back. It's like a It'll come back, goddamn. Sure. It'll come back. You know. Uh, yeah. Uh, in California, who fucking knows with all these fires? Uh, they're actually wearing. Hey, to be there. honest, you want to wear some fucking frequency forty three swag? Yeah. yeah. Take all right. Look. So the long term goal basically is to get a merchandise section on our website, and um, just get that going. And and we freq 43com That's our website, and we got the domain and everything. And so we're gonna try to build everything off of that website and get our whole entire get a little merchandise brand going and then eventually we want to get like it's all in the works for the long term but yeah. you know we're putting in the work for you listeners you know we we want we did frequency 43 isn't going away we're here to stay you um, thought that you thought that was our last episode episode 13 never you thought wrong i would never end on not on 13 are you serious dog that would be hurt that would be nothing but that would be sad. That would be shameful. Now, yeah, we're back. So we're back. What we're if back. um another subscriber said um what have I been up to this weekend over winter break? Uh, and I said I've been getting after it, but What is it? What do I mean when I say that? It's like I'm running hills every single day. I'm doing the mental reps. I'm doing breath work. I'm going to bed early. I'm fucking doing everything I can to possibly hit that next level. I've been putting in tennis reps. I've been practicing my serve. I've been taking Everything, just tune in on that sacrifice. I hope you're doing the same. Because you and me are sure goddamn running out of time. What is that? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Hey, fuck Joe Rogan if you're going to Spotify. Hot take. Yeah, fuck. I'm sorry, Joe, but... If you Joe if Rogan. you go back to our first podcast, we were diehard Joe Rogan's. No, but if then he went to Spotify, and I might even unfollow him on our Twitter, bro. You, I don't think I I ever would. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm thinking that. about unfollowing him. <laughs> take that. Yeah. I don't, you know. This is a little cheap to move to your true fans. He'd be a, he'd be the first one to go. He would be the first one, to, and he was the first one to go. It's like, oh, uh, who's good? He was gonna go from YouTube. It's Joe Rogan. They got him. Yeah. Now we're left with is like, really. Sasha's like, let's go. Yeah, oh, yeah this yeah. is Sasha. This is Sasha, third member of Frequency Forty Three. Oh. Me and her uh, get along. Kind of yeah, her and John have gotten extremely close over this past couple of days. Um, <laughs> I don't cheat on my dog. I don't oh. know, me and Sasha got some, yeah. Me and Sasha got a connection. She's the uh, unofficial third member of Frequency Forty Three. Um, what's the story behind her? The story behind her is I actually adopted her from Pound and Chico when I was a sophomore. Because I went to town and it was the most goddamn tragic thing I've ever seen in my life. And uh, she was, and she was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And I could not let, I could not let her rot away. Yeah. And here we are. Here we are today. 
She's licking my hand. Right and now. she's licking John's hand right now. Just what are the odds of that? You know, life is a crazy journey. It's you know? crazy. Definitely. I never would have thought before I went to college that I would have gotten a dog, but it just. I'm just going to lick. It was meant to be. Yeah, she is crazy. She's though. an athlete. She's crazy. She's very crazy. Very Does athletic. not like other dogs. No. At all. Will like attack other dogs. Um, keeping that, keeping that on hold. She hasn't had any incidents. But um, it it, it can be problematic at times, you know. But you know, she is extremely gentle with people. Absolute lover. Besides yeah, that, yeah, like, that's like, probably her only biggest issue. She's, she's like stall in the car. She's like pressed. Yeah. Yeah, she just loves. She just loves. Now, how in jujitsu you're supposed to like press the other person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, life's good right now. Let's be honest. Life is pretty fucking good in Eugene, Oregon, right now. Um. And got really nothing to do. Be better. I could be better at tuning in that sacrifice. Yeah. We both need to tune in that sacrifice. Let's be real here. Yeah. It's way too foggy and big. For me, I feel like I Let's actually have a pretty, pretty clear idea, actually. I'm just going to fucking die in this recording mode. Walk in the woods. Move next to a mountain, bro. I think that's the fucking move for me. Do it. I think I've been dialing in on my sacrifice. I think you could. I don't really think it's about going pro for me. It would be more so just living like that lifestyle and like getting in, like achieving my maximum potential. Like that, because I love snowboard. I just want to know how good I can get, you know? I want to know how good I can get, and I love that lifestyle. And I think it's not for me, so I think that I'm just gonna move there after college and see what happens. I just don't see any other ways about it. Yeah, just I just have to make all the moves to set myself up for that. And that's a lot easier said than done, ladies and gentlemen. On three, thanks for listening. By the way, you know if you made it this far. Oh, if you made it this far, bro, like, you made it this far, I don't think anybody's ever made it this far. (laughs) (laughs) You made it this far, you're in (laughs) charge of (laughs) territory. Yeah, it is. We'll make it big. We'll make it. It's going to happen, so. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. Uh, I want to buy a video camera. Well, we need, we need to buy a video camera. Yeah. 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 Like right in the way this year, you know, frequency 43. And uh, hit some goals. What else is there to do in this long world? And hit some goals. Mm-hmm. Some goals. You got any goals? Make some memories. Have a good time. My, my goal is to. Uh, yeah, every single day, whether I have a good day or bad day. That's a great goal. I really like that. Thanks. You have so many sunsets. You mm-hmm. might have a bad sunset. Only so many times to watch the play, you know, but sometimes there are, some sunsets are prettier yeah. than others. Some days are brighter than others. Some days are just really nice. That's the Can't be having fun all the time, otherwise there would be no such thing as fun. Yeah. That would just be fucking the worst thing ever. Mm-hmm. Everything was like mundane. Yeah. 
It's hard times. But it's a pretty good time. Now we're having a great time. We got Sasha here. Got Sasha. I got some Corona. Speaking of Corona. You talked about Corona last time? Ah, we didn't. (laughs) COVID. (laughs) Yeah. It was like the COVID. I said it wasn't real. And then fucking COVID, bro. It just fucking gets me. Yeah, it's definitely real. I got it like a while ago when I got back to you a while ago, but it didn't affect us too hard. You know, we're we're still kicking, so um I just got a bad headache. So So bad. Um yeah, that's what happens, man. Yeah, it's uh it's it's kinda it's kinda crazy how many people have been uh Absolutely, have had their lives absolutely affected by this virus. Um, that may or may not have come out of a lab in China that it's now actually recently coming out. Um, but um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, nothing that ever stopped Frequency 43. Nothing that ever stopped another video we made about Frequency yeah. 43. However, I will say you will never see us wearing a mask. On this podcast. Uh, yeah, bro. Over my dead body. Um this is this is this is America, god damn it. This is America, god damn it. America. Well, is there anything we want to talk about before we wrap it up? Eat your fruits and vegetables, god damn it. Fruits, veggies. Maybe find that sacrifice. Sacrifice. Um yeah, if if you're not getting after it, really, what are you doing? If you're not getting um, after it, you're getting depressed. Let's be honest. Yeah. And you know, in the end, I think that everything is just gonna it's just all about, you know, if you have the right mindset, you know, there's always the right, perspective. the right perspective and keep the possibility open for anything to happen and keep some hope in your life. You know, I really think that you open the, the door to, um, to like find at least maybe find some sort of peace or balance. Or balance. Yeah. Well put. Um, yeah, that's that's about what we're doing. Here. Well, don't sure. forget too that um, I mean, there's a reason why you listen to a song called "Long Way to the Top" if you want to rock and roll. So, if you're out there and you're like having kind of a hard time, like both of us have struggled. We Even started from goddamn episode one. Um, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. So keep that in mind. It's, you know, it's not always going to be easy. That's what I've learned. And I'm still so, so young and naive. So, you know, but, um, hey, you know, just another day to live and learn. And uh, get better, and hopefully one day achieve our fucking sacrifice. All right, God damn it, we'll fucking get our sacrifice. It's on the record. Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes? A lot of people would say I'm a fool to bet against Tom Brady, but God damn it, I'm saying Patrick Mahomes two oh. times back to back world champion. Patrick Mahomes is going to go down as the GOAT over Tom Brady, and I'm saying that now, and I'm giving a 15-year prediction that after this Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes is going to surpass Tom Brady and get, like, eight rings with Tyreek, bro. They're fucking <laughs> unreal right now, dude. Tyreek right. is absolutely the most crazy person I've ever seen fucking, right. like, run the football. Holy shit. What about you? What about you? Patrick Mahomes, no shit. Patrick Mahomes, yeah. So obvious. 
and the Chiefs are just a fucking. There's but the it's in, the only bro. It's in Tampa, but like during COVID, does that even mean anything? You know, like it just travels. So sure. like, what? Is, like Tom Brady's really playing forty chess on Tampa Bay, where the Super Bowl is, and then just fucking taking Tampa to the ship. Like that's pretty goaded, right? I can't believe he beat Rodgers. I can't believe he beat Rodgers. I thought Rodgers was gonna win two. Like Rogers, so he could just back. easily prove me wrong again. I haven't seen Patrick Mahomes lose a Super Bowl yet, though, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, cheers, bitches. Cheers, I'm going to be a much wetter tennis player in the next podcast. Just wait. Wait, are we doing next, one tomorrow? Next podcast, we can. Uh, next podcast, we're going to be probably wearing some Frequency 43 fucking merchandise. So keep your eyes out for that. Hopefully, they turn out good. We'll see how they go. We'll see how they go. Let's get it. All right. Is that is that an episode of Frequency Forty yeah, Three? We call it. Is that an episode of Frequency yeah. Forty Three? I think that was a good one. <sighs> a little rusty, but a little um, bit rusty, boys. A little bit rusty, but you know we had to fucking force it down the hatch somehow. So.